Hey guys, super cold this morning, but today is the day we are going to be loading up the bull and sending him to the butcher. And we need to be really careful and safe about this because he's big, he's huge, and we're not sure how he's going to react. We really don't mess with him, but he's, he's mellow when you leave him alone. I'm not sure if he'll stay mellow when you start pushing him along and making him do things maybe he doesn't want to do. We left the trailer here last time we loaded some up. And so he's just setting it back up. We have an alley we put together with some panels. And this is blue. All right, so we got some slip knots on the trailer door. So this is the trick to get them to go where you want them. <laughs> if they're not trained. That's kind of scary. Like he's running, babe. He's running. <laughs> oh, shake it, babe. Shake it. He's messing the fence up. Here it comes. Look. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Right, good boy. <laughs> It. Thought I had the camera rolling, did not, but we loaded him in with cubes and he used a slip knot rope to be able to get the gate to unlatch easy. And now he's in there enjoying a party of cubes. I love you. Bye. You and Jesse are going to leave and take the bull to the meat market. Okay, so I'm shopping for Joe for Christmas. And I don't know what to buy him, so I, I buy him tools, but I buy him tools that I want. <laughs> and I give them to him for Christmas. See, that's Joe's present from me. Why are you showing me that? For me, because you said you wanted to know which one I bought. Surprise, Merry Christmas is what you're doing. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Are you excited? Show sure everybody you're excited. <laughs> Hey guys, it is time for evening chores and we are going to go milk. So I've been practicing milking and have taken some of the tips Jocelyn has given. And number one is cut your nails. Right after I cut my nails, I would say I could milk almost just as fast as her on the big teat goat. But on the smaller one, it's still kind of awkward for me. Um, her legs have to be positioned just right. If they're too close to her bag, it's really hard to for me to get a good position on there. So I'll try and mess with her leg and get her to put it down where I want it. And I'll show you here in a second how that's sort of going. It's getting dark, so I'm hoping my camera picks everything up. We'll see. That, that is a goat on top of the barn. <laughs> get down, you're gonna get hurt. So it's not her fault, because this thing's falling over. But we have someone coming to take some of the uh, pieces of metal for their own barn. Come on, come on. They know it's time to be milked and it's time to eat. He's already up there. <laughs> Her what? Are the cats panning? All right. So remember I said I cut my nails and, oh, how'd this goat get all the way over here? Just okay, jumped. and so it makes it so much easier to be able to pinch and close your hands because you're not worried about stabbing the goat right here and on this side. I can close my hands and my nails don't get hurt at all. So look. So you can pinch it and then squeeze hard. 
and you block off all the milk from going up. I've never been able to milk like this because I've always had nails. So if you want to milk fast, cut your nails. In practice. In practice, yeah. Gotta get the teeth. All right, so I finished milking the other goat. I was going to show you how it is when I milk Granny. All right, so I'm going to try and get her legs into a better position. Basically, I think you ought to pull. She doesn't like it when you move her feet, but. Yeah, I'm going to milk her. Nope. I just want her to set her foot down and. When you let go, she's just going to kick it back up. Put the milk bucket between her legs and open it. You punk. <laughs> I am gonna try and milk but like here if her legs are really close it's really hard for me to milk her and not to mention her teats are harder to grab and they're lopsided like this side is small and this side is bigger and so and this I have side runs out faster yeah see and I always get it on me on this side I'm not sure why why Jocelyn why do I get it on me I don't know my hands are bigger than yours and I don't get it on me I know do you do like that at first, or do you do them both together at the beginning? I do them both at different times. So you got it on me. If I milked her like that, if that would be easier for me. <laughs> the other hand's not doing so hot. <laughs> Trying to find what works, guys. She also knows what works for her. Alright, I'm going to strain the milk and... I got these on Amazon, this wide mouth filter. Got two, two pieces of steel, strainer. double strainer. And I just put it like this, and then we pour the milk in. I'm straining out dirt and hair just in case there's any in there. All right, when we're done straining, we put this lid on, but we write the date on here. That way we don't get confused with yesterday's milk or the other milk, that way we use the milk in order. And we just use a dry erase marker, that way they're easy to wash off. You could use permanent, but you'd have to use alcohol or something to get it off. And that could be a little bit of a pain. We only get enough that we use almost the entire um, two quarts in a day. The baby drinks this milk. Um, we use goat milk instead of formula because I don't nurse anymore, which is one of the reasons that we bought the goats in the first place. That's the main reason. So we use goat milk instead of formula because our baby had a really hard time digesting formulas, all kinds of formulas. We tried a bunch of different kinds, um, but I basically wanted to stick with organic ones and ones that didn't contain corn syrup, and he didn't do good with any of them. And I couldn't continue nursing because I kept getting mastitis and infections because he had a tongue tie, or he has a tongue tie and a lip tie, and he never formed um, a proper latch, so we had all those issues. And I knew with Jubilee that she did really good when we gave her goat milk, and so I just knew that he would do super well with the goat milk too, and he did. This is Jedediah, in case you don't know. He is 10 months. Yeah, he's been on goat milk for how many months now? I think four, maybe four months. And I know I posted videos before about some of my nursing struggles, uh, but like I said, I quit nursing and we switched to this goat milk. There you go. All right, so goat milk is a lot easier to digest than cow's milk when babies are young and also just in general. So if you're looking for an alternative and you have space for a goat, I would totally recommend you use goat milk instead of cow milk. We have dairy cows too and we drink cow milk, but they're a lot harder to milk and they're a lot more maintenance. The goats are super easy, they're small, easier to handle. And so we just have found it a lot easier to, to milk goats than we do cows. All right, guys, that is the end of Vlogmas day 21. I will see y'all in my video tomorrow. And actually, this video is going to be used for the 22nd. Um, anything else?
yeah, if you're new to my channel, subscribe if you want to see more content on farm animals, raising kids and whatnot. I'm a stay at home mom. And I will see the rest of y'all who are my subscribers in my next video. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.